what's up guys in this video we'll take a look at how to create this volumetric smoke and fire using the niagara fluid plugin which is brand new plugin uh, that's coming into under 5.2 I will create the smoke and fire effect and hopefully you'll also learn how to use this plugin in the process. So with that, let's jump into Unreal Engine 5.2. Alright, to get started what we'll do is we'll basically go ahead and create a new Unreal Engine project. Uh, basically you can create a blank project or it can be a third person project. Just give a name, Niagara Fire Smoke and yeah. We'll basically create the default Unreal Engine project here. Uh, next thing we need to do is go to the plugins and then go to the basically search for a Niagara fluid and make sure you enable the shim caching as well. There's another one. Um, I was hoping maybe I will build up on this process, uh, project later as well. So yeah, go ahead and restart if it asks you to. And once that is done, then what we can do is basically go ahead and uh, create a blank project. And then um, what we can do is right click on the contents uh, browser and then just go ahead and create a new Niagara system. Um, yeah, it would be an empty emitter and you can give a name, uh, whatever you feel like. I just say it NS Blast and yeah this is what we have by default um, next we'll go ahead and add an emitter system so you can press E or you can just right click and then you can put an emitter in here so I'll go ahead and add an emitter and that would be of confetti blast so I'm using this as a template um, so as you can see it, it is too small so we'll change the size maybe we'll give maybe 10 15 12 whatever you feel like I think I, I went with the 12 here just so that you can see it and there you go you can see it uh, there's a blast confetti particles that pops up in the system next we'll change the aerodynamic drag of this system um, basically what we'll do is We'll use a float curve instead of the regular that we have uh, just so that we can change, you know, taper it at the end. Uh, so for that, I will just add a key and you can change. The, so basically from 0 and 0 0.2, uh, the value would be 0. And all the way at the end, then it will basically jump to 1. And that way you can see. Uh, it, it gets tapered at the end basically there's initial blast and there's a tapering at the end uh, that's what we are trying to achieve with this uh, aerodynamics uh, drag um, next uh, we'll add a gas particle by using particle update and we'll just go ahead and type in fluid and it should give you the fluid gas source so it basically uses the, uh, the density radius and then the temperature uh, next we need to connect this so we'll uh, basically what we'll do is go to the parent emitter we'll go to the emitter and then try to se uh, select for the 3d gas 3d gas master emitter so greedy grid 3d master emitter sorry and by default it has that spear uh, sourcing so we'll basically need to you know uh, basically disable it so you'll go to the sourcing and you will see that there it says the uh, grid 3d gas spear source so go ahead and turn that off and then what we'll do is go to the emitter summary go to the source and we'll try to select the source that we have that is confetti burst so basically we are con connecting the particles to the uh, gas emitter Basically, that's what we are doing. And here, if you put under a emitter name, the uh, confetti burst, and it should find it. And that way, we connected the particle with the gas emitter. Okay. And you can see on the background, there is that uh, gas emitter on the background as well. And now, uh, what we'll do is go to the fluid gas uh, source. From the radius, we'll change that to float from curve, you know, and then basically we're trying to make it big. So here the scale curve will give 10 
that way you can actually visualize that smoke okay and now if we were to play it uh, we see that this is actually better although there is a bounding box that you can see it's clipping something you know uh, clipping the portion of the smoke uh, in that bounding box that but we can change that uh, in a second here uh, basically we'll go to the uh, emitter summary you know and then go to that simulation and there you can change the you know wall size to 800 by 800 by 800 that way you know your simulation is not consistent okay now this is better but we also need uh, maybe maybe we can add a fire right in here in the simulation uh, so what we can do is uh, go to the emitter summary and go to there should be a temperature option so go ahead and click on that and now if we were to play this definitely this is too much of fire here because if you see here once it plays yeah there's like <laughs> really big blast uh, so maybe we can change that maybe go to the fluid gas source and change the temperature to maybe 0 0.05 or something like that so this is actually a lot better okay um, yeah this way I think this was a very quick way for you to you know create a fire and then the smoke effect as well now uh, other thing that you can do is actually uh, you can also enable streaking which basically helps you if you know to change the streaking um, you can play with this number you know maybe change this to three four and maybe max streak samples to 50 60 so that uh, you might achieve some consistency or better look of this smoke effect as well yeah this is all you need to actually create the smoke and fire effect quickly in the Unreal Engine uh, using the new Niagara Fluid. So at the end, you can actually remove the confetti particles. So disable to disable that, go to the confetti burst, and then just disable that sprite renderer. You know, uh, that way you don't have to see those in this in there as well. Um, also, you can change the velocity. You know. Uh, in here that's up to you to play with it uh, basically particle velocity you can change and then you know randomize it as per your need but I think that would be all you need to get started with the uh, the Niagara fluid system uh, at least for the smoke and fire uh, but go ahead and play with it um, yeah you can drag into a system and you can see it's pretty cool awesome Hopefully you are able to understand the concept the basics of the Niagara fluid system and create this basic blast effect. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. I'm happy to take all the suggestions from you guys. And yeah, I think this is very cool. So go ahead and play with it. And if you have questions, comments, concerns, please add them into a chat. Until then. I'll see you on the next video.